Hello, and welcome to this episode for Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. And in today's episode, we will be looking at, don't drop, don't drop, got it. The Grove Thermal Imaging Camera from Seed Studio, an all-in-one solution for thermal imaging. As the name suggests, the Grove Thermal Imaging Camera is a Grove module that integrates a small thermal camera that can be used to generate thermal images. Its price of under 30 bucks makes this a pretty good steal, which is why when Rich and Luke stop recording, this board I'm holding will find itself missing. I already have a whole bunch of ideas for this thing. By far the coolest feature of this board is that it lets you generate thermal images obviously. While the resolution of the camera is not the greatest, its decent refresh rate of 63 hertz and the ability to detect a wide range of temperatures makes this board so insanely applicable to many projects. At the same time, the use of medical grade sensors, according to the data sheet, means that you can take accurate thermal images at a distance. With regards to the features of the Grove Thermal Imaging Camera, the camera sensor itself is a 16x12 array of MLX90641 thermal sensors, which are designed for use in the medical industry, and the small plastic lens over the sensor provides a field of view of 100 by 75 degrees. The maximum temperature range that the thermal camera can detect is between minus 40 and 300 degrees Celsius and communication with the camera is done via I2C. Additionally, the board has multiple mounting holes for securing to enclosures, and the four pin Grove connector allows for rapid prototyping with other Grove devices. The most obvious use for this board is as a thermal imaging camera. While the resolution is low, it is more than enough to create basic heat maps of a surface or object. Such heat maps can be extremely useful for seeing how heat flows through an object or surface, and the ability for the sensor to work at range allows for distant objects to be monitored. Another excellent use for this thermal imaging board is for diagnosing short circuits in PCBs. Generally speaking, components that have failed or have short circuited will get hot pretty darn fast. Now, if you are struggling to identify parts on a PCB that may have failed, you can apply a short burst of power and use this board to find components that have become substantially hot. This method beats what I have been doing, pouring large quantities of highly flammable IPA over my PCBs just to see which part dries the fastest. Finally, this board could also be used in projects that need to track a heat source. For example, a robot could utilize this sensor to identify heat signatures and track the movement of those passing by, which could be useful for security applications. In my case, I am absolutely convinced I could make a Minitrize to Aim 9X Sidewinder, mount the camera onto a two-axis cradle, place a clear dome over the structure, and connect it to the front of a rocket. But saying that, I just may have realized I am probably on a watch list now, so yeah, don't do that. And a special shout out to one of our Electromaker community members, Mithun, who used this module to create a bear tracking camera for camping. You can see more about this project somewhere around here. And you could also say that this camera is the bare necessity to that project. So to summarize, the Grove Thermal Imaging Camera is an excellent module for those looking to create projects needing to capture thermal images but the medical grade nature of the thermal sensors also means that you can use this module as a non-contact temperature sensor with some pretty decent accuracy, around one degree Celsius. While I can think of a ton of nefarious uses for this board, I'm sure that you lot watching this episode will find a much more civil use for it. So the only thing you need to do now is head over to the Electromaker store where you can get this thermal camera sensor and all the bits you need for your projects. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Great.